live from Union Square in San Francisco, the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade, with your hosts, Ben Fong Torres and Julie Hayner. We are celebrating the year of the hair, and it's a good thing rabbits like the company of others because we are surrounded by tens of thousands of party revelers. Look at them here, gathered here in Union Square, trying to stay dry and get a good view of the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade. Good evening, I'm Ben Fong Torres. And I'm Julie Hayner. Thank you so much for joining us tonight in this timeless tradition of art, history, and culture. The Chinese year 4709 promises to be a time when you can catch your breath and calm your nerves. A welcome reprieve after the tumultuous year of the tiger. But before you get to catch your breath, we promise to take your breath away. It's time to kick off the Southwest Airlines Chinese New Year Parade. <laughs> So what do Lions, Dragons, and the San Francisco Lesbian Gay Freedom Band have in common? There are three things that always entertain us in this parade. That's right, Julie. The Freedom Band has been performing for more than three decades, and yet they somehow always fit this parade into their busy schedule. Let's take a listen. I must have a pair of those. Just in case you're wondering, they're playing Military Escort by Harold Bennett for us tonight. Oh, I did not know that. I must didn't either. New policy of theirs, do play, don't tell. <laughs> you notice their colorful rainbow plumes. They signify that gays and lesbians come from all cultures and ethnicities. And next up, we have the Hyundai float. But first, leading the way, two of the automaker's newest models, the Hyundai Ecus and the sporty Hyundai Genesis Coupe, just out for a little test drive.